We have arrived at the high point of the Eucharistic Congress, the offering of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. All the events of the Congress have led up to this point because the Mass is the source and the summit of the Christian life, and the Mass is the source and the summit of the Eucharistic Congress. The Holy Father has asked us this year to reflect on God's mercy and to put mercy into practice in our daily lives. And we can say that the most merciful act in the history of the world is celebrated here in the holy sacrifice of the Mass, Jesus' suffering, his death, and his resurrection for our salvation. God had mercy on the whole human race, and through Jesus' suffering, death, and resurrection, he saves us from our sins and gives us new life in his grace. The merciful Lord Jesus is really present here with us, saving us now through his holy sacrament. Why do we have the Eucharistic Congress? The purpose of the Eucharistic Congress is to celebrate our faith in the real presence of Jesus Christ in the Holy Eucharist, to affirm our Catholic faith in his real presence. Twenty years ago, a New York Times CBS poll was taken. And in that poll, that survey, Catholics were asked to choose between two statements which statement best represented their faith about the Eucharist? Number one, the bread and wine are changed into the body and blood of Christ. Or number two, the Eucharist is a symbolic reminder of Jesus. And that poll found that a majority of adult Catholics between the ages of 18 and 65 believed that the Eucharist was a symbolic reminder of Jesus. Can you believe it? Only a symbolic reminder? You can Google it and find it online, 1994 survey of adult Catholics. Well, that was more than 20 years ago. Would the poll findings be much different today in 2016? Well, in the Eucharistic Congress, we come together as a diocesan family to celebrate our faith in the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. Someone once said to me, Bishop, there is too much attention paid to Eucharistic adoration. And I thought to myself, that's like saying, Bishop, there's too much attention being paid to adoring Jesus. Or, Bishop, there's too much attention being paid to Jesus. Well, how can you pay too much attention to Jesus? Remember Mary sitting at the feet of Jesus, completely absorbed with all her attention fixed on Jesus? It's a great example for us in our devotion because the same Jesus is here in the Eucharist. Yes, the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist, his body, blood, soul, and divinity, we do believe. And so at the Eucharistic Congress, we come together as a diocesan family to express our faith and love for the Eucharistic Lord, paying attention to him and honoring him. Why? We have a Eucharistic Congress because a strong and genuine Eucharistic faith means a strong and vibrant church. There's an important connection between our faith and the vitality of the church. There's a beautiful staying from the prophet Isaiah which can apply here. Unless your faith is strong, you will not be strong. Or another translation could be read, if you don't believe, 
you will not last. In the gospel that we have for this Mass, St. Luke tells us what happened in the village of Emmaus after Jesus' resurrection. The two disciples had a long walk and conversation with the stranger who was with them, really the risen Lord, and they invited him in to stay with them that evening. And when they were at table, they recognized Jesus. When he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. They recognized that he is really present. And it's a beautiful gospel for a Eucharistic Congress. When you look at the sacred host, and the chalice of Jesus' precious blood at the consecration when the priest elevates the host and the precious chalice. You also recognize him to be really present. You adore him at that moment in the Mass. Who are you adoring? Jesus is present. The same is true when Father says at Holy Communion, behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. You recognize Jesus to be really present because you say to him, Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. You say, Lord, you are addressing Jesus whom you see before you. Although hidden under the signs of bread and wine, you're speaking to him. He is really presence, his real presence in the sacred host. Lord, we recognize that you are present, body, blood, soul, and divinity. During those moments in the mass when the sacred host is elevated and the chalice of the precious blood is elevated for you to see and adore, sometimes we may be distracted and it's understandable, we may be thinking about our, our lives, our difficulties, sick relatives, other issues in the family that we're bringing there to the altar that day. But you might want to recall a few lines from sacred scripture to help you focus your attention in those brief moments on the Lord's real presence. And a favorite of mine is, are the words that Jesus spoke to his apostles at the ascension into heaven. Behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Those words can easily be applied to the Eucharist. Behold, I am with you always until the end of the age in the sacred host and the chalice of my precious blood. I remain with you, I am here. or at those moments so as not to be distracted and measure your attention to the real presence, you might recall Jesus' words to his frightened disciples when he came walking towards them on the Sea of Galilee and he said, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Apply those words to the Eucharist as you look at him and he says, take courage, it is I. I am really here present. Do not be afraid. And there are other lines from sacred scripture that can help focus our attention on the real presence as we behold the Lord, behold the Lord in the Eucharist. The line from the letter to the Hebrews comes to mind. Let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and the perfecter of faith. And yes, let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and at that moment of the consecration and at Holy Communion, our eyes are in fact fixed on Jesus who is really present. Or we have the words uh, St. John writes in his gospel regarding the crucifixion of Jesus and they shall look upon him whom they have pierced. At those moments in the Mass, we are indeed looking upon him whom we have pierced. We are looking upon him because he is truly present. Such is the amazing truth 
of the Eucharist, Christ's real presence. And finally, the line from Psalm 123 can also help us focus our attention. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. It's a beautiful psalm response that we have. I looked in the lectionary on the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time in Year C. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. Our eyes at those moments in the Mass really are fixed on the Lord, not fixed figuratively, but really fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy because he is really present. We experience the Lord present in many ways. And our church teaches us that because it is true. But we experience his presence in a totally unique and special way in the Holy Eucharist, his real presence, substantially present, body, blood, soul, and divinity. And how beautifully his real presence in the Holy Eucharist makes all of the scriptures come alive for us here and now. Not just, not just those that I just named, but all of the sacred scriptures. Because the one to whom all of those scriptures refer is really present here, really, in the Holy Eucharist. The Eucharistic Congress is about deepening our amazement at our Lord's real presence and energizing us for the good works of charity and mercy when we return home. Let us go forth from this Congress renewed and refreshed to live joyfully our Catholic faith and to serve the Lord.